I'm gonna show you how to make this really fun green ninja costume from the Lego Ninjago movie. Now, what makes this costume super special is it's easy to make. It's a sandwich board style costume and it's reversible. So this first side here, this is the green ninja, but you can flip it over and it becomes Lloyd, which is the character who becomes the Green Ninja in the Lego Ninjago movie. So I'm gonna show you all the steps for how to make this, including some secret tips, like how to make the headband out of this super special material. It's swimsuit material. <laughs> and some other tricks for making this costume on a budget. Let's get started. This project is inspired by the Lego Ninjago movie, which is going to be in third or September 22nd. So let's get started. You need a 20 by 30 piece of foam core board. You're going to cut that in half with a craft knife. Now, if you want all of the dimensions for how to cut everything in this video, please go check out the blog post that is linked down below where I share all the actual dimensions. So you're gonna mark in about an inch and a half on each side to make this a trapezoid shape because even though Lego bodies are boxy, they are tapered at the top. And then use a craft knife to cut those tapered little corners off. And then we're going to cover this with craft foam. This is gonna make this be a lot softer than just wearing a piece of cardboard or foam core. And to glue the foam, I'm using Aline's felt and foam glue. This glue works really good. You don't really wanna use hot glue for this because it can melt the foam and then it just looks really crazy. This glue is not gonna show through. Now, once you've glued the foam on, turn the body of your Lego guy over and trim away any excess foam and then trim away any uh, exposed foam core. Now you're going to cut a slot for the neck. I actually made this too small. So later in the video, I'm gonna show you how I fix that. Now you need a front and back panel for this sandwich board style costume. So on the back panel, it doesn't have a notch for the neck. You'll just cover the whole thing with green foam. And again, trim away the excess foam and excess foam core. Now, there are some details on this sweatshirt. This is for the Lloyd side of the green ninja costume. And so you're going to cut those pockets out of the excess scrap green foam that's left over. You can cut one and then use the other one as your template, which is what I did here. Again, glue that with the felt and foam glue so that it doesn't melt. Next, you're gonna add some details um, with paint, or you can use acrylic paint or fabric paint to do that. And again, I am going to be <laughs> adjusting this. So here you can see, I cut it too small. I cut the neck hole too small. So I just grabbed a foam core, um, I just grabbed the foam core board and a craft knife with a ruler and cut the slot bigger and then repainted the details with some fabric paint. Now you can just refer to what the Lego Ninjago characters look like in order to paint your own custom uh, features onto your costume. So if you wanted to make this for any of the other characters, just change the colors and change the details you're putting on there. Now to make the sandwich board style straps that go over the shoulders, you're gonna need two pieces of ribbon cut 18 inches long. I like to use a nice two inch wide black grow grain ribbon, and I'm just using some hot glue to glue that on. Now originally I had made the costume and then decided we needed to make some adjustments so that's where you can see that the back of the foam core had torn a little bit when I removed the ribbon and now I'm putting the ribbon back on. You definitely wanna use a lot of hot glue for this. And we're also gonna strengthen this by putting some more foam on the back because this side is actually going to be the green ninja side. So again, I'm going in with the felt and foam glue and I'm gonna glue black foam to this. I know this is already black but it's gonna look a lot better if the whole costume is made with the foam. It's got the same material, it's got that consistency, and we're gonna be able to paint on it, etc. and the paint's not gonna look different like if it was on the ribbon versus on the uh, foam core, because we're just gonna cover the whole thing with the craft foam. So I covered the front, I covered the back, and then you've got to cover those little trapezoid pieces that kind of poke out. So you can use another piece of foam, just use the scrap, you know, cut little strips off of it to cover up that area. So what I did is I just glued it on, then I cut it with a craft knife, then I glued the next side on, cut it with the craft knife, and repeated this for the front and back of the green ninja side of this sandwich board style costume. Now be really careful when you're using the craft knife for this. Um, this is a retractable one, so you can retract it and it's not gonna poke you later. Once that is dry, we're gonna go in and add this 
detail to the costume. So looking at the image of Lloyd slash the green ninja, uh, he has this like silver line detail. It's kind of like almost a, um, a scale type of, like it looks like scales a little bit on his outfit. So to get that look, I'm just taking a yardstick and painting um, silver stripes on either side of it. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. I wanted this to look a little bit distressed and so um, just brushing on some silver paint worked great for that. Next we're going to add the trim detail onto this ninja costume and we're just going to use some green grow green ribbon. You only need like maybe a yard and a half of this. And again, once we have that grow green ribbon um, cut, you can go ahead and hot glue it onto the costume. Now the hot glue will melt the foam a little bit underneath, but we don't really care about that because we're going to see the ribbon. It's going to be on top. Next, refer to the image of Lloyd slash the Green Ninja um, to paint on all the details for the costume. So there's these two emblems that are kind of on the chest area on, you know, right below each shoulder. So I just painted those with some white craft paint. And then there are some emblems on the green trim detail and I used dimensional fabric paint for that. So this is Tulip Slick Dimensional Paint. It's basically puffy paint, like what we all know from the 80s is puffy paint, but it dries shiny. And so I thought this would be kind of a fun contrast with the matte black of the foam with the silver um, imagery. Now there's two like folds there, so I just painted some white to show those. If you look at the image of Lloyd, that's what that is. Now here's our secret weapon. This is green swimsuit material. You're gonna buy a quarter yard from the fabric store and then cut that in half long ways so you have two long strips. In the middle of one of the strips, we're going to create this emblem that is on the headband that you can see the green, green ninja wearing. Now, I used, again, slick puffy paint for this. You wanna put a piece of paper behind this because swimsuit material is porous and the paint will go through the back of the headband onto whatever surface you have. So put some foil or wax paper or something that you could peel this off of once it's dry. This, because I put it on really thick, it's gonna take like a day to dry. You could also use a heat gun, but you might melt your swimsuit fabric. Next, you're gonna take a little strip of swimsuit fabric, glue that to the bottom of the uh, green ninja side of the costume, and then glue a longer strip on the bottom. This is kind of like the belt. And then that little strip that you glued, that's gonna wrap around the bigger strip and you just kind of gather the edges so it looks like it's tied on but it's not now on Lloyd's um, or on the green ninjas wrists there are these green strips so I just cut two pieces of green ribbon the same length glued the ends down so you want to make sure because this ribbon can fray you want to make sure that you fold over and glue the ends down anywhere that they are going to be exposed and I just held these next together next to each other to make sure that they were the same size and then we're just going to glue them onto a basic black sweatshirt. So it's really cold at night on Halloween almost every year. So I like to make costumes built on sweatshirts or sweatpants and that kind of thing because it just helps keep your kids warm. So here I'm showing that you're going to flatten out the sleeve so that when your child is wearing this, this green strip is on the top of their arm, not on the bottom or on the side. And then I'm using Aline's Fabric Fusion Glue to glue this on. You can try to rip it off later, but it's it's pretty stuck on there. <laughs> so once you have those strips on the wrist, you're gonna add the zipper detail to the Lloyd side of the costume. So you don't wanna do this until that paint on the ninja side is dry. So I'm just adding some details here with some black paint. You can try to do this with a permanent marker. I just found that black paint works way better. Once those painted details are dry, you're ready to wear the costume. So here on the left, we're gonna have the image of the green ninja, and over here on the right is the picture of Lloyd. You can interchange these costumes. All of the extra supplies you're gonna need, you're gonna need some extra pieces, right? The ninja sword, the hood, um, the clothing pieces to make this costume work. Those are all listed over on my blog. So make sure that you click that link that's down in the comments or click the little eye up here on the right-hand side and make sure that you go check out the Lego Ninjago movie in theaters September 22nd. If you enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe button and if you think any of your friends would enjoy it, please hit the share button. Thanks so much for being here. Bye.